What is happening everyone? My name is Phil with Think Make Do and this is the last video, I think, in my dust collector series that I'm doing here in the workshop and we are finally getting to work on my boom arm. So I have my entire dust collection system set up here. You can watch the old videos to see how we got to this point. I call this a stage two dust collection system. Shout out again to Patriot DIY for giving me the inspiration for all of this mess and Today, we're gonna to make a swing out arm or my own boom arm to allow me to put some of my equipment, if you can see over here, allows me to put my table saw or whatever I'm working on in the middle of this workspace and swing out an arm that has my dust collector port on it with a little thing that dangles down and then I'll be able to connect into my table saw my planer, which is over there that creates a whole lot of uh, wood chips uh, and suck all that stuff over to the collection system. So uh, the materials that I have, let's take a look. The main star of the show is this giant two by six, which is a 20 footer. Maybe it's a 16 footer, I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna measure off the wall to see how much is from here kinda to here. Uh, that looks more like 12 feet, but you know. We'll have 12 feet um, on a boom arm. It's gonna be kind of a triangular shaped system to give it support. I've got some door hinges. You know, actually, where are all my supplies? I've got two heavy duty hinges that are weighted or rated for uh, 50 pounds each. So that's 100 pounds. Yeah, 100 pounds total, right? And that is gonna have kind of my triangular boom. That main pipe is gonna be the main pipe that goes all the way across the boom arm. And it's gonna attach into my dust collection system off of this, off of this Y. Uh, the triangle is gonna start up there. I've got some plywood I'm gonna mount to the wall to make a, a drillable surface for the hinges. Uh, that makes it kind of just easier to install. It's going to probably swing out from that direction out this way and drop right yeah. So, um, I barely know what I'm doing. I'm gonna take some measurements, start cutting, and uh, put you on time lats and just kinda see what works. All right, let's do this.
All right, I'm gonna pause here because, well, story of my life, I've run out of materials. But I've gotten the majority of the boom arm set up and I'm just missing a couple connectors to be able to test it with some equipment in the center of the room. So let me show you what I've done here. All right, if you can tell, I've made a triangular arm and similar to framing in a house, instead of just putting two by fours together, I use three quarter plywood to make, uh, I guess, structural points where it can better, I guess, manage the load. And that will help kind of any of the weight that is on the tip of this when it's hanging down um, from this, I guess, this thing coming apart. The basic concept here is two pieces of three quarter plywood that I've sandwiched together and uh, anchored to the, I guess, the concrete. And that gives me an easier surface to uh, mount my two hinges for the boom arm. The boom arm is a combination of a two by six running across, that's a 12 footer, about five feet going up, and just a, uh, an eight foot two by four that's, uh, I guess, making my, hypoten my hypotenuse, making my hypotenuse or the span. And I did test it in terms of its weight capacity uh, and I hung on it from the middle point and it seemed to work pretty well. And you know, I'm about 170 pounds, so uh, I think it's fine. The last steps, I'm gonna rearrange my wiring here, if you can see. Um, I'm actually gonna then mount this drop down thing to the boom arm and then run my wiring along the wall here. And that way uh, electrical power and dust collection can be on the same arm. I think that'll be pretty cool. And then I'm missing the conversion, I, I guess a, uh, one of the conversion plates, or what do you call it, conversion ports for my four inch sewer and drain pipe to connect to, where did it go? Uh, hmm, that. To make this connection, I need a little adapter from here. Uh, the rest of my pipe that I've stolen from my vacuum that to come down, I'll have to order another 20 footer of this uh, to complete kind of the overall setup. Another one of these, cause I stole it from over there where the air filter uh, was gonna go for that soldering station, but we are on the home stretch. So I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning.
just real quick, I got a chance to replace the port here on my dust collection bin from my, my, my cyclone from a four inch port to an eight inch port, which is larger than the six inch port that it comes with. So now we're gonna do a dust collection test to see how much of it goes into our first bin and then how much actually gets collected into the secondary catch can. What should happen is everything like 90, 95% should go now in here and just kind of fine particulate dust should end up in here before exiting out our filter. So I got a bag of wood chips that I collected before. Let's see how much of this stuff ends up in the right place. Oh yeah, I made everything smart enabled with an Alexa and smart plug, so now I can do this. Alexa, dust collector on. keep in mind that one of my collection ports is actually still open. The boom arm, uh, it doesn't have an end cap yet, so I'm working at half suction capacity. But even still, it got the whole bag. There's a little bit still kind of stuck in this chamber here, but that's just because uh, I don't have the full collection power. But let's see what we've got in here. That's like, that's a lot of it. I'm really impressed, hold on. Let's see what our secondary catch can. Wow, there's like nothing in here. This works really well, I'm super impressed. Uh, exactly what I wanted to have happen, awesome. What is happening? We are back with what should be the last part of this video and it's the completion of our boom arm. I got my 45 degree elbow that's gonna go up here. I have the last of my sewer and drain to four inch dust collection, I guess, outer diameter adapter pipe thing here. And then I can hook up the flexible cable. So let's get these set up and finish this thing off.
All right, I think this is a wrap for our video. I've got a couple changes that I had to make. The retractable clothesline, it doesn't actually have a click setting to hold it in place, so uh, it's actually kind of useless. And the 30 pound rating was for the string, not the tension of the retracting coil. So that didn't work out, but instead I happened to be replacing one of my heavy duty uh, retractable extension cords, and that seemed to have the strength to pull up this piece of pipe and so I just zip tied my tube to it. So if you can see here, it comes down. This is enough cable for me to connect to the accessories that I need, mostly which is my planer that goes here. I have a reduction from a four inch to a two inch that I can stick in here and then that'll connect into my, um, my table saw. And that's the two primary uses for this device. Now, of course, with this flexible coupling, I can put anything on here, uh, but this works really well. So I can just retract it up, kind of gets out the way, and then I move this thing over, and then I guess I'll have something to hold it in that position since it kind of wants to pull itself over this way for whatever reason. But I think that's a wrap. I'm really happy with it. Like and subscribe, comment, let me know what you think. Always happy to hear what you have to say. Catch you guys on the next one.